love building with moss, but it's so hard to get unless you go into a scary cave full of evil monsters. I've been moss mining underground, but it got so deep that it would end this world if I slipped. Whoa! No, I'm not doing- ah! 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 Why did I literally just fall down there? Okay, I lied, I didn't die. So now we need a better solution so I can build pretty things with moss. An automatic moss farm! Yay! Hype! Exciting! I'm scared of redstone. I only have like 34 moss blocks to my name, so we definitely need to get that farm. Luckily, I do have a ton of redstone and a ton of bone meal. I don't have a lot of iron though, but luckily we have some ore that we can fortune mine. I just broke my base. And now we just smelt that down. And I think together with the iron we already have, that's gonna be plenty. At least that's what I thought until I started crafting all the redstone materials and realized I needed like a billion hoppers. And because I don't just need hoppers but also a ton of pistons, I'll just have to go and hit the branch mine again and get some iron. At least I have a fun roller coaster ride. Maybe I should make an iron farm at some point. Oh, I found my other moss mine. Yikes. Let's just pick a random hole in the wall and start mining. Sometimes I just love mining in a straight line, picking up ores left and right and watching some cozy Minecraft content. Wait, I just hit some of my other mines that leads to a geode. You know what? I think I'm gonna need some calcite anyway, so I'm just gonna pick that up real quick. It's always such a fun grind to work myself through a geode and pick out all the sweet, sweet calcite. Ooh, iron! Love that timing. What I don't love is how quickly my inventory fills up with all that good stuff, but luckily I did bring my ender chest so I can just dump it all in there. And now all the calcite is gone from the geode and safely in my ender chest. Now let's just go ahead and continue the iron grind for a little bit. And so I went back on the grind and finally found some iron. And then I found even more iron and even more iron and then a giant vein of iron and it was even more iron than I thought it was. And then I found some copper which I don't really need but I took it anyways. And then I mined into a giant dripstone cave and got really scared. Ah! There's a creeper in the cave! Is he gonna be there? Ah! Oh, how he went past! Hello? Wait, he's still alive. Ah! Bye creeper! Good that I didn't know at the time how big the cave actually was. And because I'm allergic to creepers, I turned around and mined back into the direction I came from. Now let's get out of this scary mine. Ugh, it's nighttime and it's raining. Double gross. And I'm just gonna make a big pile of all the valuables I got, which is mostly just copper. And that's what a giant pile of random ores look like. And now I'm just gonna fortune mine all of it. I thought I would do a big brain move and repair my pickaxe while mining all these ores, but then I realized copper and iron blocks do not drop any XP from Minecraft. It's mostly copper, but it's definitely a pretty good haul. And now all of this stuff is smelted and we can take our fresh new iron. Wait, I could have repaired my pickaxe with this XP. No! But anyways, let's just craft all the pistons. I had to craft really weird stuff for this farm, like a target block. I've never made this before and if I did, I forgot. And I even had to make a note block. I don't know if this moss farm is gonna play music, but I hope it does. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. I've been walking around my base trying to look for a location to build this. And my base is kind of full of stuff already. But this area next to the very ugly terraform cliff here is looking very empty so we could build something here against this cliff. The problem is this is uncharted territory and there could be tons of caves here. Ew. Ew. It's gross. Ew. Oh it's just a llama. Sorry. I mean, despite the caves being really ugly and scary over here, I think I'm gonna build this house against this cliff. Ew, I just saw the cave. I changed my mind. Just kidding, I'm building it here. So first we gotta tear from this area, and then we gotta build the moss farm, and then we gotta build a really cute house surrounding the moss farm. Also, I just found this really weird hole slash cave slash, I don't know, something was slashed here, definitely. And it's full of animals! And a zombie, I hate the zombie. Go away, zombie. Well, good luck, guys. I'm just gonna cover this up. But now let's just dig out a big part of this hill so we can fit the moss farm in there. So I started tearing into the ground with my efficiency shovel and made a huge mess. But then I got the chance to free one of the cows trapped in the ravine cliff cave kind of thing and it made me so happy. And while the cow was enjoying its new life outside the cave, I continued making a huge mess. I'm not even halfway done and we already have so much dirt and grass. I think I want my moss farm to go here so we need to dig all this down to over there. The grind is real. And while I got rid of the stone, I thought to myself how lucky I was that there are no giant caves nearby. Little did I know that I just missed a mega cave by just a few blocks. Ugh. 
I also realized I want to put the moss farm in a hole, so I dug a giant square pit where all the ugly redstone can go. I'm like halfway done with this giant pit, and I just realized I could have just used my beacon. There's literally the beacon beam in the background. I'm an idiot, and now it starts raining, so Minecraft agrees with me. And now we have this giant hole in the ground. Oh yeah, and I did rescue a sheep from that ravine. I don't know how to get it out of here though, so you're stuck in another hole. And now that we have almost two full chests full of dirt and stone, we can just ignore that and grab all our redstone materials. And now it's time to build a moss farm with actual redstone. I'm not scared. Ow. So let's first place a block, and then another block, and then we place down a sheep block. No, it left. Forget about the sheep block. We're gonna place this thing, and then a hopper, and another hopper. Then we put some redstone here, and some redstone there. The pistons that destroyed my iron supply. Then we look at the sheep that doesn't want to leave me alone. Then we punch the sheep that doesn't want to leave me alone, until it leaves me alone. It still doesn't leave me alone. Go away! And now I've made a hopper clock! I'm a genius! Just kidding, I'm following a tutorial. Link in the description. And now we just connect a line of redstone all the way through here and then all the way over here and then we place one of these cool redstone lamps and a lever and now we can turn this on and off yay it works pro minecraft and if this is really confusing to you don't worry it's confusing for me too but i still understand exactly what this thing is doing and that's even creepier and now we just need to add a stone generator and a machine that makes a stone turn into moss now let's do even more really smart redstone and i bet i'm looking really smart doing this i totally know what i'm doing and now we can add the note block and i also added a dispenser here so now we just need moss i can't believe i had to go all the way back to my base to get this one block of moss okay this looks like a creepy supercomputer down there and moss I did some more really smart placing of pistons and observers until the farm looked even more intimidating and it was time to build the stone generators. But we can't create stone out of nothing, we're gonna need some water. So let's get some more of that from this lovely pond. And we're also gonna need lava and I'm so glad I have this lava farm just ready for me to pick it all up. Blah. Why did the lava bucket fall in the lava bucket? My inventory was full. Now let's first add the water to these stairs. And of course I accidentally spilled the water. Why am I like this? And now it's time to add the lava to this place. I'm scared. And let's just cover this up so no one gets hurt. Unless this sheep wants to take a bath. Oh sheep. Just kidding, I won't do it. Unless... Oh sheep. Oh sheep. Sheep. Oh no, no, <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Hmm, cooked food. Now we're just gonna add some water into this place and not spill it on the redstone again. And then we just cover it up. Ah, I fell. And then I already installed some more redstone back here with this cool target block. Boom. Oh no, that activated the redstone. <laughs> that was cool. But it showed exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna open these trapdoors and flood the thing so all the moss can get flooded out there and then go into this hopper stuff. Hopper stuff, great word. And then it's gonna go into this chest and we're gonna get lovely moss in there. But I think now we can test if the stone generators work and the lava does its job. Please lava, please. I messed something up. Wait, I didn't. I heard lava. Yay, it's doing something! Please. Yes, it's working! Now I just need our final ingredient, the most important one. The one that's actually the only thing that can make moss. Yeah, I don't know why I hyped it up so much, it's just bone meal. Tons and tons and tons of bone meal. Now luckily my closet is full of the remains of skeletons. Wait, that sounded wrong. I think this is gonna be enough, right? Right? Enough for the test. Please work! It made moss! And it's flooding it. And it's actually dropping the moss blocks! It's dropping the moss blocks! This is exciting. I actually managed to make a farm and not break it. I only broke it like three times, but now it works. Okay, let's look at this. <gasps> Already so much moss. Yes! And I forgot we're getting these too. They are so perfect for decoration. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna let this beautiful farm run for a while. And while I wait, I'm gonna do something really productive. Like try to shoot the squid in the ocean. I made a moss farm. I made a moss farm. I made a moss farm. And after just observing the moss farm and being really happy that it works, I was ready to start the next stage of our build plans today. Now we can build a house on top of this farm. And the reason I put the farm in a giant hole was because I didn't want the house shape to be controlled by the shape of the farm. So now we can build whatever we want. But I know for sure there's gonna be a lot of moss. And I think a nice block to use for our moss house is of course calcite. And luckily we did find so much in the mines. But of course we also need to get some spruce wood because that always looks good. And 9 or 10 spruce trees later and I have that much wood. And I also had the farm running the entire time so let's see how much we got. Oh my gosh it's full! 
Oh no, it's overflowing. Look at all this stuff, it's gonna despawn. No, 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 let's get rid of the seeds. Bye seeds, go away. I want moss. I think I actually know way how to get rid of all this extra stuff and turn it into something useful again. Let's make one of those composter bone meal machines. This farm actually had a built-in bone meal machine, but I removed it because then it wouldn't give me moss, it would just give me bone meal. And I just wanna have the moss. And now we can just dump all the extra seeds in here. And now we're gonna get more bone meal from this. I'm just gonna slightly cover up this farm. Ah, oh, I fell down again. I already placed down some calcite and that's how big I want this house to be. It's gonna be a really nice moss mansion. I just have to make sure to cover this up. I want to have a lot of windows on every single wall and this is going to be where the entrance is. So now let's do the rest. I'm just going to ride my camel over to the desert because I need a lot of sand. And with the desert, I mean this really tiny sand patch. No, we're sinking. No camel. Save yourself. What a loser. I made a lot of holes for windows in my house, so I'm going to need a lot of glass. Well, now this beach looks really destroyed. Sorry, not sorry. And I gathered so much sand. That's hopefully going to be enough for like the next 10 projects. Wait, no way. The camel still hasn't made it back to land. Let's get you out of here. Here, have a cactus, my dude. That was so random. Now we'll do some smelty smelty glass. Some picky picky flowers. And then we do crafty crafty glass blocks. I think I crafted too many. Whoops. I also crafted a ton of spruce materials. So now let's first do the windows. And I love doing this trick of the small glass paint on the side and the big window in the middle it kind of makes it i fell kind of makes it look like the window is curved i fell again and now we can add all the spruce decoration around it which always gives the build such a beautiful cozy cottage core look and i think i'm gonna turn it into like a little tiny roof just like that so it looks like a roof over the window it's cute it's also nighttime and i'm scared so i'm going to sleep in this bed and now let's just add this window design all over this house not like this though. And now we have pretty windows here and pretty windows there. Pretty windows everywhere, it rhymes. I'm so cringe. But what we don't have yet is an entrance. So let's first put a big old floor in here. I'm not sure how far I should extend this floor because I kind of want to see this from when I come inside. We can't just cover up the poor moss farm. So why don't we add some sort of railing here? So like a couple of fences and then those fence gates and then we can just stand here and watch it. This is perfect. And for the door, we can just add a whole bunch of trap doors. So it's a nice trapdoor wall then we just break this and add an actual door yay we have a door and also added this kind of double archway thing using stairs and it's looking really nice but this is still looking like a huge mess especially with this thing down here ignore this ugly cliff so why don't we go ahead and put a roof on this thing so we can actually see what this house is gonna look like and just to be clear i want it to look pretty yay roof done just kidding that was just the small tiny part let's do the real roof And now the roof is already looking pretty, especially the front. Now I just need to connect this big part up together and fill the roof with another block. So I was thinking we should make the entire ow roof out of moss sweet sweet moss oh yeah maybe we should fill this here with calcite otherwise there's just gonna be a big hole i totally know how to build a house i swear yeah this entire wall in the third window was always here and it's totally there on the other side too i mean oh look a cherry tree see it was always there this entire time you saw nothing but now that i've showed you that i've already finished the walls of the house a long time ago we can start adding the moss and it's gonna go all over this roof. I kind of want it to match the direction the stairs are going, but I also want it to be a little bit organic because it's basically moss on a roof, so it has to overgrow just a little bit. And I almost forgot to connect all of this roof stuff here, and I think I want to make it curve like this so it goes down a little bit. This will look good in a moment, I hope. Yeah, now this looks really beautiful. And I think now the mossy part of the roof is done. I've totally done the back too. Oh, look, it's nighttime. Ah! 
Just placing some random moss blocks, nothing to see here. Now look at this beautiful mossy mossy roof in the back. And now we gotta walk all the way out to the river so we can see the front. It looks very green and mossy and I forgot to put the windows in the top floors. But I think since it's a mossy roof, we gotta make it really overgrown and full of stuff like leaves and grass and flowers. I just saw I forgot a block there, but you didn't see it. No, you didn't. Let's grab some nice azalea bushes and maybe some moss carpet too. I wanna put these tiny bushes on the roof, but I've just realized having tons of these means I can get infinite azalea leaves. Hype! So let's just plant a bunch of them over here. They look like a big mossy table. And now bow meal time. Until we have a ton of big giant azalea trees. This looks so weird from up here. Ow. And now we can just get all the free leaves. I love that these leaves don't make this loud breaking sound like all the other leaves. This is just so cozy. And as a bonus we get all this free oak wood. I also got some other resources like tall flowers. And I'm also gonna collect some grass. Yeah, I'm gonna grow grass on my roof. Don't judge me. And now we can just start adding all this stuff to the roof. Let's grow some grass everywhere and plant some flowers and put those tiny bushes here and there. I think they're gonna look really cute. And of course, leaves, 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 leaves. They won't ever leave you alone. Yeah, that was horrible. I was already done with half of the roof when I realized I'm an absolute idiot. I could have just used bow meal to grow half of these things on the roof. Basically just like this. Even those bushes grow. Well, I guess the back is done now. Just kidding, I also added some more flowers and leaves to this roof. And since I already have so many leaves in my inventory, we can just start decorating those windows. And of course, we gotta add some lanterns here and there too. Because I don't want creepers on my house. I'm creeper intolerant, remember? And lantern, 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 and lantern 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 pro minecraft do you know that feeling when you say a word over and over and then it suddenly sounds really weird and now this house is already looking so beautiful look at this mossy overgrown cottage cottage car accomplished but there's one big huge problem this house has and it actually makes it look super ugly and it needs to be changed this target block from the farm is visible from the outside <laughs> Gross, you can see redstone on a cottage core build. This cannot be, so I found the perfect solution for it. We're just gonna grow a giant mushroom out of the ground and we'll build it in a way so it's gonna cover up the ugly target block. Good that I have a ton of mushrooms here in my spruce growing area. And I think you can actually just grow them on pods all. So let's quickly get rid of one of these trees. And now let's put the shroom here and bone meal. Please, yes, mushroom. And now let's get those blocks. Wait, they're not dropping. What? Did Minecraft break or am I just stupid and don't have silk touch on my axe? I'm just stupid and don't have silk touch on my axe. No, my pretty little mushroom. Okay, let's try one thing to get silk touch. What the heck? I wanted to grab some books and then go to the enchanting table and then try to get silk touch on a book to enchant it on my shovel. And then I have a silk touch book in my chest so I don't have to go to the enchanting table and enchant a book. That was the funniest thing I've ever done. Now, where did I put my anvil? Oh yeah, I made this amethyst circle with the anvil in the middle and x and silk touch yay and now let's do it yes it's dropping pretty pretty mushroom blocks i don't think we're gonna need that many mushroom blocks but i'm just gonna farm some more just in case and because it's so satisfying to do this okay one more is way too satisfying and I also need to make a mushroom stem. I could use these mushroom stem blocks. Would kind of be a logical thing to do this. But Frog Crafting told me to use quartz blocks. So I blame her. Well, at least I have a lot of quartz in here. Wait, those are bricks. And those are pillars. No, those are the only ones I have. Oh, villagers. Well, hello again. I want quartz. Give me tons of quartz. That was like 10 blocks. Scam. Give me more than the other guy. Be better. That was worse. They suck. I mean, they're so great. I'd have to go to the nether if it wasn't for the nice villagers. They still smell. And of course, I'm going to smelt all of that quartz into smooth quartz. Here's a random clip of me partying to a song on Spotify while I was gathering resources. But now I actually have all the resources ready so we can start building the giant mushrooms. And we'll start by covering this one up. So I made a really cute tiny organic mushroom on one side of the building. And because I loved it so much, I built another mushroom on the other side of the house. And it's looking so adorable. And now look at these beautiful tiny mushrooms. I love it. But what I don't love is this really ugly cliff down here. So I'm thinking I should make 
make a cute one. But instead of just covering it up with dirt, I think I want to make a custom cliff. And now that we have moss, we have access to a really special kind of block. Because now we can basically throw moss and cobblestone in the crafting table and get a ton of mossy cobblestone. Which is a much faster way to get it than farming vines. I think I'm just gonna go through all my stone chests and pick out a block palette for our custom cliff. I have all these nature materials now, but I think what I'm gonna do first before I build the cliff is make some sort of staircase or path towards the house. Because right now there's just this narrow path leading to the house here, which won't do, and maybe we wanna get to the house from up here. So I'm just gonna start placing down some slabs and see where we get with these. I made a huge mess on this wall, but this is the staircase I came up with so far. It's still a bit ugly, so we gotta improve it by maybe adding some trapdoors as support. And then some actual support pillars made of spruce fences. They can connect here, so we gotta get rid of that. But on the spots where they can connect, we can just move them all the way down to the ground. Yeah, that is already looking much better. Now let's add some lighting over here, and some lighting over here, and perfect. Except the ugly cliff in the background. Ah, it's so gross. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just tear out all this mess over here, make a nice flat wall, and then somehow try to make it pretty. I actually can't remember the last time I actually did custom terrain, like trying to terraform. That isn't just placing dirt blocks like I've done over there. Like actually using these blocks to make some sort of custom gradient or texture. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna try. Now we have an ugly flat wall and we somehow need to make it curve around, connect to the staircase, and look pretty. So let's just start by placing a couple stone blocks and then go outwards a couple blocks and then even more and then make it connect up to here and then here it can go inwards one block and then connect to this wall. I think I figured out the shape now we just need to connect this to up here and at the top how about we just add a bit of moss here and there and bring it down like this and then we can just connect the moss over to here now we have an even bigger area to decorate but this is still looking really ugly so we kind of just gotta tear out a couple blocks or basically all of the blocks and then we just replace it with moss and some mossy cobble then some cobblestone and tough and then we just add some andesite towards the top maybe some more cobblestone here and there okay I actually just took some time and tried hard to make a gradient so moss mossy cobble and then the other stone blocks and now i just need to add these cute stones all over this wall and afterwards i'm going to be a pro custom train not really though I did it! I made a custom cliff! And I think there's still one thing I can add to improve this even more. Yeah, this dirt cliff I made looks really embarrassing now. You saw nothing. I need some glow berries, and I only have two. But I think I put a weird farm where I can get more glow berries in my Barbie dream house. Wait, that's the haunted house. That's the Barbie dream house. Yeah, that's what I call a glow berry farm. We just have to bone it, and then we get tons of them. I'm a berry girl in a glowing world. And now let's put these on the custom cliff. And it's raining. Lovely. Wait, you can eat glowberries? I had no idea. And then I'm just gonna terraform this land a little bit more while waiting for the rain to stop. I hate the rain. It's evil. One hour later. Just kidding, it took 10 minutes. And now we have a nice rainbow and a bit of a flatter area. But now comes the really exciting part. We can add glowberries everywhere and we can bone with them so they have berries and it's all lit up. Also, I just realized eventually those vines will grow way too long. It grew again! Go away. So we can basically just shear them and then they won't grow and no more annoying growing vines. But now for the last finishing touches, let's add some leaves just going down here. And then we can also add some fences to this and also added some lanterns for lighting. But I also ripped a giant hole in the ground from Minecraft because I want this to be a cozy coarse dirt path leading from the staircase all the way to the door. And I also want to put some cute flowers here. And since my little cherry grove is nearby, I think I'm just gonna go and bone meal all of these tiny flowers so I can get them. And now when we walk to the house from over here, we might not have a path, but we have a beautiful pink pedal field to walk through. And I think now the exterior of the house is done alongside a beautiful custom cliff. But I kind of forgot about one important thing. Right now my way to get to the moss farm is to just fall down here and jump on it. And that's kind of not a cool move in hardcore mode. So I'm thinking we should dig a staircase all the way down to this moss farm. No more ugly stone hole. We're gonna decorate this entire place. And the roof. The roof is ugly. So basically, this is just gonna be the staircase. We go down here, then it wraps around here, and then down here we can just put a floor. Let's just go with this lovely spruce wood. And I'm thinking maybe in the corners we can just add the stripped spruce pillars all the way to the ceiling. Ow. And these pillars frame the farm really nicely. And then it's the wall, one block behind the spruce pillars. We can add some amethyst. 
And I also started to kind of decorate it with spruce wood. And I think this is looking really magical. And then maybe above this arch, we could have some calcite because the geode stuff always goes nicely together. And now these walls are looking really lovely. And I even decorated the staircase in the same geode vibe. Now there's just this one ugly problem, this farm. There's way too much redstone visible, so I think I'm just gonna cover it up using deep slide. And deep slide everywhere, even in your hair. Just kidding. We can just walk down here, collect our resources, enjoy this beautiful room and then leave again and never come back but this part and the ceiling is still looking very ugly so i'm just gonna add a ton of spruce wood support beams in these corners haha <laughs> ow so basically it's gonna look like this and i connected it up with trapdoors and then we can just spam leaves all over this place and have them hanging down everywhere and a lot of messy scaffolding and placing leaves later, we have this really lovely roof ceiling kind of thing. I think I'm also gonna add some really cute detailing blocks like those pots and little flower pots. And I think adding those cute tiny mushrooms to all the flower pots would be a really lovely touch. Boop, boop, and done. No, I left my crafting table floating in the sky. Get back here. But now I think this area is truly done and it's looking so lush and overgrown. And I think my favorite part is that we can just stand here and watch the farm work. It's perfect. And now the build is truly done and I love it so much. I think another thing I want to do is bring the dirt path from here from my animal sanctuary all the way over to the moss farm. I don't really want to decorate it for now because I don't know where other builds are going to go in this area. So it's just going to be a little basic dirt path. The only downside about having this path was that pillagers spawned on it. And now they're sneaking up on my base not knowing that I'm right over here watching them. Those absolutely idiots but I ignored them and just continued decorating my path using some fences and leaves and I think I'm also gonna add some of these beautiful azalea bushes since we now have so many of them and can farm them easily yes they're looking so cute it is raining again but now this small section of the path leading to the house is decorated with flowers and leaves and all of that beautiful stuff and I just love walking up here and I can't wait to fill the rest of the area around the path with more beautiful cottagecore builds I hope you enjoyed this hardcore episode I'll see you next time Bye! It's still raining.